Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be a little different. This week's video is going to be not a vlog or a gaming video. It's going to be actually a tutorial on an editing, a free editing software called HitFilm 4 Express and I use this program a lot and I find it great. I really enjoy using it and it's pretty, it's pretty good. There's a lot of cool effects that you could use. There's, it's just really good for a free program so I recommend downloading it. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cinematic look to your videos. Um, so it kind of looks like a movie or just just something a little cool to just spice up your videos And it's gonna be a quick video. It's gonna be simple and easy for people that are still learning This will be not a problem for you So I actually did a poll on Twitter where I asked you guys if you wanted a vacation vlog next or a gaming video and the vacation vlog one and I'm not quite done editing the vacation video yet because I'm having a few of my friends help me edit it with it yet but it will be up soon so this is what HIFM4 Express looks like when you open it up so you just go over here and press new and then this is the project settings that just comes up as you can see here um, home and then you could just press project if you want edit edit and export so we're gonna go to project right here so template I recommend using custom because these are just some other weird settings. I don't know. I just use custom. And then the width is going to be 1920 and the height is going to be 1080. This is what I recommend using because all the others are just kind of, I don't know. I, I just recommend using that. And then the frame rate, it depends on how much your computer can handle and I guess what you've recorded with, wh however many frames you've recorded with. So I just do 60 or how many however many frames you want your video to be so i just do um 60 you could do 30 or like all the others but i just recommend 60 if you want to do 30 you can i mean it, i don't think it makes such a huge difference and then um you copy down all these settings if you guys want to these don't really matter to me so then you're just gonna um pick apply and uh yeah here you are this is what hit film looks like uh so media you just open up your file you know take your files out and then just drag it in there so i'm gonna be editing a little time lapse for you guys that i'm gonna be using in one of my vacation videos so i have a little um time lapse video and then i have a little song that i'm gonna put in it so just drag that onto the timeline uh you can press yes i, I guess i'm gonna be showing you guys uh, some of the basics to just like a few little basic things that you should know and not just the cinematic looks so you could just drag this around if you want to resize it or anything so I'm gonna be doing a time-lapse so I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna press speed and duration and I'm just basically gonna make it faster so I just sped it up to 300 but it's not good enough so I'm just gonna do 350 or let's do 400 yeah that's good so the video is going to shorten and then you basically just drag the audio down below and I'm going to cut the audio and delete this part because we don't need that. So now I have my little time lapse ready and I'm going to go to effects to make the cinematic look. So I'm going to look up brightness and contrast and you basically click that and drag it on the video and then you go and search up color balance drag it on there and the final little the final little effect to make your videos look just a little cinematic and basic and simple is letterbox so now you could see the letterbox is like that those little black borders so I think the letterbox is a little big so I'm going to do custom ratio or if you drag it to the left it kind of makes it to the side if you drag it more to the right you know you could just fit it however you want to so i'm gonna make it look about right there then we're going to go to brightness and contrast so the brightness is obviously the brightness you can make it however dark or light you want to i'm just gonna add the brightness a little bit so the contrast basically kind of makes things like darker so i'm going to increase the contrast a little bit so it has a little deeper look and then i'm gonna go over here to color balance so there's shadows midtones and highlights so first you're going to click on shadows and red balance if you add or if you drag the red balance to the right it basically adds a lot of red and if you drag it down it adds a lot of green or like blue so 
I'm going to drag the red balance down a little bit so it's a little more greenish. The green balance, if you drag it up, it just makes everything green. If you drag it down, it makes everything like a kind of red bluish color. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to drag it down a little bit and see how that turns out and then the blue balance basically if you drag it up it makes everything blue drag it down it makes everything green so i'm going to drag the blue balance up a little bit and there you go my video even looks a little more cinematic it has more colors and a little letter box on it so yeah let's watch it over now So obviously you guys could see a pretty big difference in the video. So I'm going to go over here and export it to MP4. And uh, yeah, I'm going to change the frame rate to 60. And uh, yeah, I'm going to export this video and use it in my vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you make your videos look a little more cinematic and nicer looking and yeah if you guys want me to do more hit film for express tutorials down below uh let me know because i gladly will i love using this program and the last hit film tutorial i made which was my first ever one got like thirty thousand views or something like that so that's pretty good and I, I guess I can make more tutorial, tutorials if you guys really enjoy them and have it help you. If you're new to the channel and you just watched this tutorial to help you make your videos look more cinematic, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So yeah, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Peace.